I'm not a climatologist. I know little about weather, but I do know enough. Probably enough to make an ass of myself on here. I've had this idea for around three years now, and if it has merit, and if it has merit, I would like it to be recognized and considered. However, if not feasible, I want it destroyed, so it never nags me again. I want to be totally schooled on weather patterns, one way or another. So here goes nothing. I came up with this idea when analyzing ideas for terraforming Venus, which would require roboticized factories floating via balloons, creating biomass in the upper atmosphere, converting them into strong synthetic materials to create more balloons. These balloons would then be released in mass freely and block the sun's rays, allowing the temperature to drop to a livable level, or at least ones that bacteria and plant life could begin carbon fixing at. Thanks to no magnetic field, hydrogen was blown away by solar winds long ago, so we could have these balloons made to capture and catalyze protons and electrons from solar winds and reintroduce hydrogen. While studying this and a few other things, I thought, why can't we do this on Earth to reduce climate change? Then I thought, one of the major reasons would be because of drifting balloons, if damaged, could become a pollution mess. So I thought we should attach solar-powered propulsion units with GPS controls so the command center can recall them if they reach their end of life or come near damaging storm centers. This new device ended up looking like something like a mix between a Zeppelin and the Starship Enterprise with a balloon around 10 square meters with a reflective surface like Mylar but stronger topped with a solar panel uh, which are getting cheaper and lighter these days and an electrical directional propulsion unit on the bottom. When the sun goes away, the balloons will tilt at a 90 degree rusting state so it doesn't block heat escaping through radiation. Then I read an article discussing a form of energy capture using mini tornadoes and chill water that looks very promising. Post turbine steam in a steam system must be cooled to liquid before returning to the boiler for maximum efficiency, however that wastes a lot of energy. A person has made a device that cools heat without using an expensive and wasteful cooling tower. It involves a container that actually starts and runs a mini tornado. Tornadoes and hurricanes are maintained, at least according to this scientist, by hot surface and cold atmosphere. Once started, the conical feature takes the energy from the surface and balances the temperature between the land and the atmosphere, and this energy also powers the damaging winds. His device is designed to start a tornado and use warm water that would normally go to cooling towers and keep this tornado running. The tornado would then turn a turbine and produce even more electricity that would normally be wasted. The link is in the bottom bar discussing this. So now this got me thinking, what if we could use my balloons to reduce inclement weather? Take a fleet of them, maybe a total of a thousand or so, to black out a square kilometer at a precise point or points have them fly in front of a hurricane and cool down the water in front of it, essentially weakening or killing it. If done right, it could reduce a Category 5 to a tropical depression, though I'm sure Category 1 or 2 would be just fine. My lack of knowledge here is if ocean currents won't negate the cooling effect and would also mess with the current systems. Also, when these balloons were not defending our coast from deadly storms, unless my understanding of air currents are completely lacking, these balloons could be placed at strategic points to shepherd rain clouds via temperature differences to areas where they're needed, and many times away from areas where they're not needed, reducing drought and flooding. It's possible they could even create a rain pipeline from seawater to man-made deserts, like two-thirds of Australia's deserts, much of the Middle East, and the Gobi Desert in China. This is a part I need to be the most skeptical on and have the highest chance of being wrong on. Killing hurricanes and reducing ground heat during tornado season would more than pay for the system. Assume it takes $10,000 to build each one of these balloons and you need about 10,000 of them over a square kilometer. That would mean that a cluster of a square kilometer would cost nearly $100 million and triple that for control centers and research. But a hurricane damage alone yearly ranges from two to a hundred billion, not even to mention damage from tornadoes, droughts, and flooding, destroying infrastructure, lives, and property, usually the poorest among us. It would pay for itself, and a nation would be stupid not to keep a large fleet of these balloons in its defense force. Australia, China, and the Middle East especially would benefit, creating much more land mass and places to build, grow food, and live. At a certain point, if weather control became mainstream, and of course cheaper because you're doing it in mass, 
It may block so much heat that the effects of carbon climate change may be negated, like my original idea intended. Of course, we still have to worry about ocean salinity, but that's another topic. There will also be ethical and other issues with a system like big storms are natural, so just like with a controlled burning, sometimes we'll need to have controlled storms. Other things to think about is its use as a weapon, sending inclement weather at your enemy. Now we come to my last point. It seems so perfect and simple, why hasn't it done before? Have the materials just recently got to the price range where the operation would be feasible? Has no one thought about it before? Or is the idea just stupid and needs to be pwned back to the Stone Age for how uninformed I am on this issue? I really want to know. Hurricane Irene looks like it's going to cost in the tens of billions. And if this project were to cost 10 billion, it would pay for itself over and over again. Every time this kind of death and destruction occurs, I go back to thinking, could my idea have saved them? So I'm giving up my pride and laying my throat exposed, ready to be pwned. Please make a video and be gentle. If you destroy my idea utterly, I'll make a video featuring your and other responses. If you make a good and educational argument, the worst thing that will happen from this is we'll all become much more educated about weather. Thanks for your time and have a great day.